In this video, I'm going to show you a few ways of using Google Meet to meet up with your teachers. So first I'm going to show you how to set up a meeting and then we're going to meet up with Mr. Will and he's going to show us what it looks like on your end. So if a teacher sends you an invite, you'll know exactly what to do. So let's get started first with creating a scheduled meeting. So we're going to open up our calendar for that. Um, if you're just in Google like this, you want to make sure that you are logged into your school account. And then we're going to cl click the little grid here for our apps. And we're just going to look for calendar. So we're going to click on the calendar here. And from there, say I want to have a meeting today with Mr. Will. So I'm just going to click here to create an event. And title that. Now it's helpful if we click on more options. That way we have a little more control over what we're doing. So I'm going to schedule a time to meet with Mr. Will. We'll say 10 o'clock. That sounds like a good time. And then from here, if we look right here, it says add conferencing. So this is where we're, we get to the good stuff. So we'll go to Hangouts Meet right here. And now we have a link. So that'll help Mr. Will know where to go. And from here, I'm going to add my guests. So I'm going to add Mr. Will to this event. And you can change other things too. If you want to change a time or anything, you can do that at this point, but that's the bulk of it. So you want to go to conferencing, hangouts, meet, and then add guests. So whomever you want to talk to, once you're ready, you'll hit save. And we want to send an invitation. That's really important because otherwise he won't have the link. So when it's time to go to my meeting, I can click on my calendar, click on the event here. And what's really cool is we can click this link to go directly to it. Or if I want to do this on my phone instead, there's options for joining by phone. So you would call this number here and then enter this pin number once I'm finished. And that would help me log in. So, are we ready? Let's get started. We're going to join this meet. Alrighty. So now I have everything ready to go and I'm showing that my webcam works. I'm going to hit join now. So there's me. I just got an invite from Miss Hopper to join her in a Google Meet. So this invitation shows up in my email and it tells me what time and date and everything. And so what I need to do is go down here and click yes. And that actually puts it on my Google Calendar. So if I click on my Google Calendar, it shows right here, meet with Mr. Will. And I can join that Google Hangout or that Meet by clicking on this or I can join by phone dial this number, enter the pin, and that would join me in. So if I click on that, it brings me to Google Meet. Yes, I know. Um, so typically your picture would show up here on your webcam um, and your microphone would work. And then I could click on join now, or like I said, you can join by using your phone. In order to make this work on an Android device or a Samsung, for example, um, I need to download Google Meet. And so I'm going to go to my Play Store. I'm just going to type in Meet. And it's the first one that shows up. So we'll click on that one. And I've already installed it, but once you install it, you just open it up. Um, on my main screen, it'll be Meet. And so I'll click on that. And there I am. So I'm already in this picture, but I'm not in a meeting yet. So I have to actually look for one that I've been invited to, or I can type it in down here on the bottom where it says meeting code, or I can start my own, my new meeting. Uh, right here we have the microphone, that's how you hear me obviously, and I can turn that off and then uh, the person on the other side wouldn't be able to hear me at all. Or 
I could turn off my camera and now they can't see me, they just see my icon. So those are some cool options. So if one of those isn't working, it's probably because it's tapped. Um, so on the bottom here I see meet with Mr. Will. Ms. Hopper has sent me an invite, I can drag that up. It's from 10 to 10.30, so I'm a little early, so I'm not gonna join quite yet. Um, so now for this meeting code, um, if I were to have a code online already, uh, say for school, I could type that in there and it would allow me to uh, join it at any time. So I'm actually gonna join right now. So I'm gonna hit this join button, the green one. Okay, Mr. Will, we're on a meeting. Yes. yes, so if you look here, if I bring my cursor down, if you want captions to help you read what's going on, we could turn on our captions here. And it might take just a second to start loading, start appearing. Let's find out. There it is. It's down at the bottom. So that's actually pretty cool how it shows you what we're talking about. It's not actually that bad. All right. Now, some other things. If you want to add other people to the video, we can go over to meet with Mr. Will here and click up. And here we're going to find the link to get into the video again. Um, then over here, present now. This is really cool. So maybe you have a question about a project you're working on and you're like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing. So I could click present now and we can choose between showing our entire screen or just a window. Um, so maybe you have a lot of stuff up open on your computer. You might want to just do a window. But in this case, we'll just do the entire screen. So I'm going to click on that. And then I have my screens um, duplicated right now. So I'm going to click on screen two and then hit share. So now, Mr. Will, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. All right. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I could open up one of my images that I've been working on and say, hey, I took this photo. What are you thinking about it? Mr. Will, what do you think about my design for my live stream? Ooh, I like that it has a background. It's so nice. Yeah, it's toilet paper. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are some other things we can do in Google Meet? So I'm going to stop presenting now and that'll just go back to my camera. From here, if we look at the little toggle bars down here, um, there's other options. So we could record the meeting. Maybe if it's like help on a project and you want to make sure you remember it, you can record it. Um, you can change the layout of your video, go full screen, and then other settings. So if you need help with anything, you can always check here. But that's basically how we do it. So now I think what we're going to do is I'll show you how to do an impromptu Google Meet. So Mr. Will, be ready. Okay, let's go. All right, if we want to do an impromptu Google Meet, we'll go up to the bars here and then we'll just find Meet in our apps. Yours might be in a different place than mine. We'll click here and all we have to do is click on this area where it says join or start a meeting and we'll hit continue. All right, so now I am setting up and I can join now. And what I can do from here is I can share this link or the dial in info with someone. You know, I could text it to someone or email it to someone. Otherwise, if we're doing this within our school emails, all you have to do is click add people. And so I'm going to add in Mr. Will. And there he is. And I will send him an email. So now I'll just wait for him to join once he gets the invite from me. Hey, Mr. Will. Hello. Hello. Air high five. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> awkward. Uh, all right. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That's how to use Google Meet. Good luck.